Hey, good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREB. With us this morning, Chief of Police here at Green Castle, Tom Sutherland. And uh, Tom, we you just come off of a great hunter education class. I guess tell us a little bit about that real quick. Yeah, we had a great class this uh, this spring. Uh, I think we had close to 50 people, uh, youth, mostly youth, but some adults that sat through the class, all the whole 10-hour class, and uh, took the test. And we had a great, successful class. Uh, uh, just a lot of people. That's good. But that, that is good. Uh, you know, it gives us an opportunity. Um, you know, we teach these classes for a couple of reasons. Not only does it teach uh, people who go to the range uh, or to the field hunting um, good safety um, factors on how to handle a firearm, unload it, load it, how to safely uh, use the uh, firearm in the field, but also teaches uh, safety in the home, firearm safety right. in the home, and, and how to uh, store your firearms, how to store your ammunition. Um, what to do if you know a lot of a lot of young ladies take our class and I think it's very important having four daughters myself that girls take this class because it then gives them an opportunity to do, learn a little bit about firearm safety right and if they're in a home babysitting and they and they come come in contact with a loaded farm what to do when they find it so it, it's right. a great class and hopefully that'll help uh, deter any of those accidental shootings that you know we hear so much about anymore in the news and, and that's the big reason we have the classes too and, and myself and the conservation officers who help teach the class that's one of the things that we emphasize is you know hopefully by teaching these classes and teaching people firearm safety and how to handle them safety or safely that you know we don't get called either right. in the city or in the county on an accidental shooting well now we move on to your next event you guys are always busy at the police department and uh, that's one nice thing with the Greencastle Police Department you guys are so involved in the community but this one's kind of a close one to my heart it's drug take back event we do have drug uh, take back take back day coming up um, April the 26th uh, once again the Greencastle High School has been very gracious to us allows to use their school their front parking lot for the event so we will be there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, basically how the event works is people sh uh, drive through, we'll be out there with boxes or buckets and they uh, give us their medication and they drive, keep driving. All right. And the, the nice thing, nobody writes anything down or anything like that? We're not taking any information about the medications they're handing over. We're not taking their name. We're not taking their license plate number. It's a basically an anonymous situation where you just drive through and hand us your medications and they get boxed up and taken away. Now you guys, we've done this in... Uh, you know recent history and we've managed to get a lot of uh, unused medicine off the street right because that's kind of a big thing right now prescription drug abuse actually we have we've done very well um, I've been very pleased with the program here in our community um, it's offered everyone in Putnam County um, we have some uh, great people who help um, get the word out um, we send it I send it to a lot of contacts in, in Putnam County uh, we have a great lady in the Heritage Lake area uh, Mary Williams who does a lot of uh, um, information sharing up there in Heritage Lake in the northern part of the county hands out hands out flyers for me up there and she's a wonderful contact for us um, but yeah this is offered to all of Putnam County and uh, all they got to do is come down and see us all right now one thing you know we've talked about this in the past um, you know the prescription drug abuse it's not just the teens anymore it's even people our age that are you know get hooked on pain medicine and stuff like that and this is a great way in my case when my father passed away is a great way to dispose of medicine that he didn't need anymore yeah absolutely um, you know we don't want them uh, flushing them down the toilet right. anymore and get the medication in our water system and we're drinking it down the road or we also don't want to put uh, putting them in the garbage or the trash and getting it into the landfill um, this is an opportunity for people to take time go through their medicine cabinets uh, find anything that is expired anything that they don't use anymore or they don't want anymore and they can bag it up, they can box it up, and they can bring it to us. And it's also a great program. Um, a lot of people use it. Um, my mother used it when my father passed away. Is it gives us an opportunity, gives those people an opportunity who had a loved one who was on a lot of medication. Right. And now they've passed away and they don't know what to do with it. Exactly. And so it gives them a great opportunity to come and see us in that four-hour block. And, um, you know, we'll take anything from over-the-counter medicine up to uncontrolled and even controlled substances since we have law enforcement present at the scene we can uh, we can take controlled substances so anything that you have in your cabinet doesn't matter what it is if it's expired or you're not using it or you don't want it anymore bring it to us and we'll have it destroyed all right now when is the event taking place and the times again uh, it's a saturday april 26th from 10 a.m to 2 p.m um, everything that you bring to us gets boxed up um, uh, and secured at the police department and then we've uh, 
We've got an agreement with uh, Boozy, mm -hmm. Unichem uh, USA here in Putnam County um, that they have the proper permits to, to be able to uh, burn this stuff in their incinerator. So we have made arrangements the following week to take the items to there. So it's a good partnership, but we have another organization in Putnam County that's willing to help out with this project. <clears throat> okay. Now, one other thing I wanted to kind of touch on, um, we talked a little bit about it. You guys uh, here at the Greencastle City Police, you're very involved in the community. You do all kinds of other things uh, going on. And, you know, you guys, that's kind of a big thing that you've promoted is for your officers to get more out in the community, right? Oh, absolutely. Our guys are out there. Um, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and uh, we're out there uh, taking calls, patrolling, and uh, if anybody, you know, has a question or concern, and they can always call the police department if they have a program, or if they want an officer to come to their school or come to their event, um, you know, we, uh, a lot of our officers go and talk to Cub Scout groups, Brownie groups, um, we go to the preschools and talk, we go to the schools and talk, so anybody out there that wants an officer to come and speak to their program or their event, um, we actually, and hopefully here in the next uh, couple weeks, um, we've got a group uh, or a neighborhood that's wanting to uh, possibly start a neighborhood crime watch. Uh, All right. And so I'll be speaking to that group um, here in a couple weeks. And so, you know, we're definitely, I, it's, it's our job to be involved in the community. Right. Um, they need to know who we are and what we do. Um, we're the good guys. And, exactly. And so we, we need to be involved in our community and, and be seen and, and, and talk to the people. All right. One other thing I wanted to point out to uh, many of our listeners, everybody's on Facebook right now. And uh, the Greencastle Police Department has a great Facebook page, and they can go like that page. Anybody can, right? Absolutely. Uh, our Assistant Chief, Ryan Hopkins, started that um, book, uh, Facebook page probably six to eight months ago, and it's been uh, uh, you know, a great thing for us right. to do. Um, get a lot of information shared, get a lot of uh, officers' comments, get a lot of community comments uh, on there positive things and so if, if a person has a gripe or a complaint or a concern uh, about our community or the neighborhood they live in they can always post it on Facebook and Brian will retrieve it or if, or if they um, need to speak to me or an officer you know they can all, always call the dispatch center at 653-3155 or they can always call the police department and ask to speak with me and our officer that's on duty at 653-2925. All right. Well, it sounds great. And of course, I uh, want to make sure everybody stays safe in your department, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. These are changing times anymore. Well, again, if anybody has any questions about Drug Take Back Day, what's the number they can use to get a hold of you? They can contact the uh, Greencastle Police Department and ask to speak with me, um, Chief Tom Sutherland, at 765-653-2925. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. We appreciate you taking time to be with us. We look forward to uh, spending some more time here in the next few months with you guys. I know you got a lot of stuff coming up. We stay busy. We definitely stay busy. We've got, um, I know towards the fall, you know, we'll have a national night out with Little right. Merkel and I. And uh, then we, uh, one of the programs we have is permanent fitting station. And a requirement for that is we've got to have a car seat check. Right. So we'll be doing that uh, sometime in September with the three technicians and other technicians in Putnam County. So. Yeah, we definitely stay busy. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. We appreciate it. Don't forget, if you're a nonprofit group or a community organization, you'd like some free airtime here on WREB. You, too, can be a part of Putnam County today. All you need to do is give us a call at 653-9717.